frustrations, infuriating rubbish. <laughs> One glued together arched up ukulele. It's a bit gorgeous, but it still has lots of finishing touches to do. Things around the heel, sorting out the headstock, giving it another good sanding and then putting some finish on it. Let's see if we can get this thing finished and get some strings on it. So I figure there's two major points that needs sorting out now that we've glued this up. The first is that when I glue the back on, there's an overlap all the way around, which is so much better than an underlap. And also that yes, this neck heel joint uh, needs sorting out as well. So that needs making looking very nice and pretty. <laughs> oh, it's so light, I love it. combination of files rasps and the almighty finger sander which we love so much uh, we've got that smooth and flat now yes that obviously still needs some fine sanding but that is pretty much done right so now we can turn our attention to this heel now you can see on the center section through here uh, I left this nice arch on this point to try and make sure we match the neck to the body and I'm gonna do pretty much that on the neck but I don't know what to do with this whether I keep it like that or blend it in we'll have to see so I'm going to sort the neck out first to match this and then I'm going to see what I'm doing after that there is nothing wrong with making things up as you go see what it looks like adapt and change your design heck it's your design do what you want with it love that finger sander let's have a look to see what we've ended up with so as a rough sanding we've got to this point so the sharp edges the joints are smooth together but now we can shape it properly um, so that needs I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do with that that needs sorting out uh, the rest of it I think we can keep that uh, that nice arch that's there and I like that kind of bit where it goes in and curls out. So what I think I'm going to do is take a bit more off there so it curves in and comes back out again. So that's going to really kind of fit inside the thumb nicely there. Yes. Right, I think we'll, uh, we'll crack on and, and do a bit more of that. So now I've got a shape that I'm happy with, curves back quite nicely. Now it's just hours and hours of sanding and scraping before we can put any finish on it. So the last thing I'm gonna do before applying finish is just to put a little 45 degree chamfer on the edge of this headstock. Um, I've actually put a double layer of veneers on here. So we've got the maple that the neck's made out of. There's then a thin, darker veneer. And then this thin veneer on the top. Um, and what we can see from that is when we put a chamfer on there, it should reveal that darker layer just a little bit. Um, so we'll see what happens. I'm just going to do it with a half round file, nothing fancy. Take your time, make sure it looks even. And finally, the moment we've all been waiting for. Let's put some finish on this and see if it looks pretty.
and with three coats of Danish oil on. It's really changed the colouring, look at that, that's beautiful. Ooh, he likes it. Right, so time to put the head tuners on. Place them on there, and then we can finally get some strings on. Right, frustrations, frustrations. Uh, I put three of the um, little clamp things on the top of the tuners to clamp them down, not a problem. One of them wouldn't quite catch, and I thought, ah, oh, is it just that the the extra veneer has created an extra thickness? No, it's because one of those little screws is two millimeters shorter than the other three, which is just infuriating. Um, so it means either I've got to try and fish around and try and find one, which I'm pretty sure I don't have, or I need to thin off the back of that headstock, which means I'm running out of time for putting strings on this week. <laughs> Rubbish. So um, I'm going to crack them with that. I'll put some strings on. There will be a demo of this ukulele very soon. And to be honest, it's getting to the point I can't wait to get this thing finished and move on to something else. Ah... <sighs> Do me a favour, watch this video here, will you? Cheers. See you soon. Well, of course I'm not just going to leave you there. Good morning. I fixed everything that I needed to fix. We can actually put some strings on. Hurrah! Right, so here we have, look, tuning pegs actually attached. Let's go for string number four, which is kind of string number one, as I would think of it. Why guitarists always do that? Why do they always go first string and top string? Top string when that's at the bottom. Guitarists are weird people, aren't they? Probably shouldn't say that on a guitar building channel for a lot of guitarists. But hey, call me a rebel. I don't care. Right then, so let's do this. Now then, I have never tied on strings before. I've always, always used strings that have an end to them so this is a first time for me actually tying some stuff on they're only just going to be long enough aren't they right then let's have a look down here strings are on okay so i've cheated down here uh, i've put some uh, self-tightening knots on there so they just pull nice and straight i wasn't i tried to do the the wrap around um tying off on here but it just looked ugly to be quite honest over the top of there so i've just tied some knots in basically made some ends like you would with normal strings uh, it goes over the bridge which needs a lot of work to make sure it's uh, done properly up to the nut which again will need filing in the correct depth into the tuners needs a wicked amount of tuning up and set up but it has strings on it <sighs> there we go what do you think? I've got a professional ukulele player lined up to do a proper demo of this. So make sure you, you stay tuned and keep an eye out for that. But other than set up, that is the ukulele made. My arch top ukulele to match my arch top guitar. Same way of building it, just a lot smaller. It weighs next to nothing. It's lovely. Um, I'm not going to play it because I'll make it sound hideous. So keep an eye out for future videos where we can hear this one played properly. Um, and in the meantime, please do watch this video here because you'll love it. God bless. Happy Easter, by the way.